this video, I'll show you how to play Deal by the Grateful Dead. I studied the 7-4-89 version, and I want to show you the rhythms and chords that Jerry Garcia uses when he plays this song. Head over to amarguitar.com for the tabs for this lesson. I'll put a link in the description. So grab your guitar, and let's get started. I'm going to play the intro lick slow, and then we'll take it piece by piece. So the lick starts off with a little octave, where we've got the open A string, and then the second fret of the G string. After that, so together we have... the next part, we're plucking the A string, doing the hammer on from the 2nd to 4th fret on the D string, and then plucking that, that A string, excuse me, that A note on the G string. And you can see part of this is that we're kind of letting the open A string ring out while we're playing this. You can hear that, it's, that note's still ringing stop it right there but and one thing I like to do and Jerry does this once in a while too is he'll do a little bit of a palm mute he'll kind of keep his palm right near the the bridge and uh, he doesn't do this all the time he kind of mixes it up and it kind of sounds good either way if you play it without any palm muting at all or a little bit or some, somewhere in between it's really up to you and I've heard Jerry do it, you know, all of these ways countless times, and so have you probably. So the second part of the intro lick is very similar to the first. That part's the same. And then we've got a... We're plucking the open A string, sliding down from the fifth fret to the fourth and then landing on the second fret of the D string. So that second part of the lick is... So let's put it all together. I'll play it slow, and why don't you play it with me? A one, a two, a one, two, here we go. So now we're into the verse of the song. Our first chord is an A chord, and the way Jerry plays it is that we're only playing the middle four strings, so we're only playing the A, D, G, and B strings. We're kind of ignoring the high and low E strings for, for this chord. He bars his first finger across the second fret. We have that. And the rhythm that we can use for, for pretty much all of these chords is, is this kind of rhythm. Our second chord, we've got a C sharp seven. And we'll use the same rhythm. Just like our previous chord, we're not playing the low E string or the high E string, we're only playing the middle four strings. So 
So our first two chords together. One more time. And our next chord, we've got an F sharp minor. And this is a just a good old bar chord that we're that we're making minor. Playing all six strings. After that, we've got a regular E chord, an open E. Then a D chord, regular open D. Only playing the, we're only playing the, the top four strings, the D, G, B, and E strings. And our last chord for this part is a D sharp diminished chord. Also just playing the same strings that we used for the D chord, just the top four strings, D, G, B, and E strings. So from the F sharp minor, we're playing those chords pretty much half as long as we played the first two chords, so. So let's play that whole first part together. A one, two, three, four. So for that part is since it costs a lot to win and even more to lose. So for the next part, we've got what's happening there is Jerry plays an open A chord. Da -da. And then we land on an F sharp chord and you can play a full bar chord if you like I often hear Jer uh, Jerry just play the, the the bottom four strings that's why I tabbed it out like that but you can play it however you want next two chords of that part we've got a B chord and Jerry, he fingers it like this, and it's funny because I I do the same thing, and I, I don't see that many guitar players finger the 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 A shape of a chord this way, but he does it too, um, and I'm sure there's a ton of you that do it also. So we've got a B chord, and we just move that whole shape from B up to D. So. Spend some time wondering what to choose. And the rhythm we can see is really similar to the first part. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. And for the B and D chords, he kind of goes. So, like a bop, bop. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Again, he doesn't always play that every time, but he kind of favors that that rhythm. You can kind of mix them up too. So let's put the pretty much the whole verse together. One, two, three. Since it costs a lot to win. And even more to lose You and me better spend some time Wondering what to do So I want to point out one thing before we move on to the chorus For the second pattern You and me better spend some what Jerry will do, and sometimes the other band members will do it too, is sometimes they'll go, so instead of the A chord playing open, we'll play a bar chord. Do a 
chromatic going fret by fret. We just move the bar chord down to land on that F sharp. Now what's important is that, well maybe it's not important, this is just my opinion. Jerry doesn't do it every time it goes to this bar. He doesn't always go. But what's interesting is it seems like there's always one person in the band that does it. You know, maybe Phil will just play it. Um, or whoever's on keys, well, they might they might do it, or Bobby does it, and that's kind of interesting because it's not like they don't all do it at once. Um, but usually one person's always doing it, and, and you can do it too. So why don't we try that? Why don't we try the second pattern, and we'll do the chromatic part, and we'll start with our our A chord on the fifth fret, just a good old bar chord. So one, two, three, four. So I just wanted to show you that because you can throw it in anywhere you want. I mean, you can do it every time if you'd like to. Uh, I think it sounds better if you don't and just kind of mix it up and throw that chromatic approach sometimes uh, and, and leave it out other times. Just my opinion. And I think that's what Jerry does. Um, I'm pretty sure it's exactly what he does in this uh, in the 7489 version that I mentioned. For the chorus, we've got three chords. We've got the A. We've got G. And D. Now the A, we'll use the same chord that we used before, the open A, which is the middle four strings. For the G chord, I often hear Jerry play it like this, where we're not playing the second string, and we're not playing the high E string. So no high E string, no A string. Of course, you can play this G chord however you like to. I just wanted to show you what Jerry usually does, and what I usually hear or see him do kind of favors that chord. So the rhythm, I'll play it for you and then we can try it together. So the rhythm is bop bop ba da t g d t d d t a a a a g d. So let's try that together slowly. Oh, one, two, three, four. And usually after the first chorus, we've got, we play that pattern twice, then we're back to the intro lick. In terms of the rhythm, I often hear that rhythm where we've kind of got a strum, a downstroke, and then we mute. And to mute, you basically just lay your, your, your fingers on your left hand flat across the strings. And you kind of, it doesn't make a noise at all, it's just completely percussive. So. You can do that if you want. You can also do the. You can also try that rhythm. In terms of putting it all together, let's play the intro, we'll do the lick four times, and then we'll go into the verse, and then the chorus, and then we'll, we'll wrap that up by playing the intro lick a couple more times. So uh, I want you to play it with me, let's try it slow, about that tempo, a one, a two, a one, two, here we go.
I'm tired. Oh shit, I'm filming. Um, yeah, so, uh, shit, what was I saying? God damn it, I should get more sleep.